it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. I'm back with another Points Horror video and today I'm going to be taking a look at the books by Sinclair Smith. Before I get into talking about the books, I wanted to let you know that the lovely people at Truffle Shuffle have given me a discount code to share with you guys. You can use this to get 15% off anything in their point horror range. The code is HORROR15 and it's valid until the end of October 2018. I will leave all of the information below in the description. So, on to Sinclair Smith. I don't know much about this author. It looks like they only wrote books for the Point Horror series. I know some of the other authors here were actually pen names, so that may or may not be the case here. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find out much information. So, if you know anything more, please let me know. Sinclair Smith wrote seven books for the Point Horror series, so let's take a look at them in alphabetical order. The first one being Amnesia from 1996. Sometimes it's safer to forget. This is about Alicia. She wakes up in hospital with amnesia. She doesn't know how she ended up there, she doesn't even know who she is. And as she tries to get her memory back, she realises finding out might actually put her in danger. This is a really great and striking cover. I love the jagged font that they used for the title and this knife in the jigsaw puzzle piece. Yeah, it's just such a great design. I like this one a lot. Next up is The Boy Next Door, also from 1996. He's too close for comfort. This is about Randy. Her father goes away for a while and so she's left home alone, which at first she thinks is totally fine, but then a new boy called Julian moves into the house next door and things go from bad to worse. Kind of creepy cover here with this eyeball looking through the broken stained glass. Next is The Diary, which was published in 1995. A dead girl's diary in her own handwriting. This is about Delia. She finds a mysterious diary in her locker at school and as she reads it she becomes convinced that this was actually written by her in a previous life and that the person that killed her is out to get her again. I don't remember too many details about this one, but I do remember really enjoying it when I read this one when I was younger. It's one I would actually quite like to revisit sometime. I love this cover too, I think it's really atmospheric. I love the diary underwater and that the eye in the title has an arrow pointing down. Yeah, just a nice little detail. And this was released in the US under a different title, Let Me Tell You How I Died so that might give a little bit more of the plot away than the slightly more ambiguous title of The Diary. Next up is Double Date, which was published in 1998. I think this one might have been the last one in the original Point Horror series, if not the last, definitely one of the last few. Dating can be deadly. This is about a group of friends who go on a double date. We have Travis and Christy, and Tracy and Kyle. Travis loves to play practical jokes, but when they all go away to an abandoned ski lodge, things aren't quite so funny anymore. Another great cover, I love the metallic blue icy font for the title, and this bloody pair of scissors in the snow with the footprints. Definitely looks like a good one. Next is Dream Date, which came out in 1993. Sweet Dreams and Rest in Peace. This is about Katie. She longs to meet the boy of her dreams. Until that is, she actually meets him in her dreams, 
and then he starts to turn up in her real life and things turn into a nightmare. And this is another of those covers where at first glance with the pink colour and the title it might look like a romance until you look a bit closer and you realise there's this rather creepy shadow of a hand reaching across the bed. Yeah, I think this is a great cover. Next up is Second Sight, which came out in 1997. The future is death. This is about Grayson. She used to be blind, but after an operation she can now see. But she's also seeing some really strange visions of a murder and it turns out there might be more than one murder and there might be another one about to take place. I really like the jaunty angle of the title on this one and there's this gold medallion falling down what looks to be a lift shaft or an elevator shaft and this small figure falling as well. So yeah, creepy stuff. And last up is The Waitress, which came out in 1992. The customer is always wrong, dead wrong. This is about Paula. She gets a job as a waitress at their local diner, but things aren't quite as friendly as they first seem, and she might be in big trouble. Another classic cover with this knife stabbed through the check on the table, and is that blood or ketchup? So those were all of Sinclair Smith's Point Horror books. Let me know which one was your favourite. I have all of my Point Horror videos in this series linked below, and also there's a whole playlist, so go check them out if you haven't already. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!